and hit it, hit it uh, out to left. So we have a wall side windows pitching change and just up from the minor leagues, Francis Beltron. And 36 games down there for Larry Parrish, just Toledo Mud Hens. Numbers not bad. 36 strikeouts, 11 walks, gave up five home runs, and uh, the opponents were hitting 257 against him. So Beltron continues to warm up, and the situation here is the Blue Jays are batting in the seventh. There is one out with runners at first and second. Scudero is the runner at second base, and David Eckstein is the runner at first. Scudero reaching on an error by Santiago, and then Eckstein singled for his third hit of the night. And with one out, the rain started the fall with a 3-2 count on Alex Rios. So Beltron will take the 3-2 count and see what he can do with it. Rios is one for three as we get ready to resume this game with only one out of the seventh inning. The rain started at 8.59. That's when actually the game was called or held up. And now we are ready to get uh, back to work here with one out in the seventh, four nothing in favor of Toronto. And Beltran with the 3-2 pitch on the ground of the shortstop. Deep in the hole, Renteria fires to second. Got him. The force at second base. And there are two gone now with runners at the corners. 49-minute rain delay. So that batter belongs to Beltron. Had he walked Rios, it would have belonged to Kenny Rogers. Two outs. Here's Vernon Wells. Vernon's grand slam was his 10th home run of the season and his fifth hit in the series. And Blue Jays lined up totally different uh, with Vernon Wells sitting right in the middle of it. He is an impact player. He's got an impact bat as well and has had one for a long time. Big impact on this game. That was his fifth career grand slam he hit back in the third inning. Scudero the runner at third and Rios at first with two outs. Beltran's 0 1. Francis Beltran has had big league time with the Cubs in 0 2 and 0 4 and also with the Expos in 0 4. Pretty good breaking ball here at the bottom of the strike zone and uh, equally. It was nice a job by uh, Inge getting over to block that baseball, kept it in front of him. Kept the runners right where they're at. Owen oh two on Vernon Wells. Runner going from first and it's hit in the air. Center field routine for Granderson. The Beltron gets the final two outs. They'll leave two. We'll go to the stretch after a 49 minute rain delay. And he's going to turn things over to a bullpen that has been very good in this series and very good overall. Jason Fraser comes in. Everybody that they bring out. Not bad with runners in scoring position in this series. They've got it done nine for 22. And as a result, they not only have won the first two games, they lead here tonight. And Beltron back to work here in the eighth inning. He will face Rod Barajas to lead it off. Then Linden and Overbay. No balls, one strike on Barajas, who is 0 for 3. Three RBIs in the series for Barajas, 2 for 9. Beltran's 0-1. Fouled away. 
Saw Beltron pitch uh, quite a few times in spring training. And spent uh, all year in the minor leagues up until now. He's a big boy. Huge. He got a pretty good fastball as well. 93, 94. We saw a pretty good slider as well. He threw to Vernon Wells, a couple of them to get ahead of him. He is 6'6, 257. That's what the media guide says. Looks like he throws a split fingered fastball as well. At least that's the grip that he has right now. Then he takes it and puts it in his glove. Sometimes he changes it, sometimes he doesn't. That could have been it right there. Two. The particulars on Mr. Beltron. And that is fouled back out of play. 0 2 the count stays. Beltron didn't pitch in 05. He had the uh, elbow reconstruction surgery. And again the 0-2. Brown ball deep behind the bag at third. Santiago shoots him down one away. Showed you Todd Jones there moments ago and uh, he said that uh, he's going to be ready to go on Friday for a simulated game today. Let's take a look at our bell tire pitch by pitch and how he goes after Barajas. He's having a pretty good series. Gets ahead of him with the first pitch fastball. Comes back another fastball. And then he throws him something at the bottom of the strike zone and a breaking ball that he fouls off. And if you're in right now after Barajas fouled off the 0-2 breaking ball, you're thinking that he's looking breaking ball. They came back inside with a good fastball and jammed him for the ground out to third base. Here's Adam Lind with one out. Beltron has retired all three batters that he has faced. He was uh, going up against Rios with a 3-2 count after the uh, rain delay, and he got him. And then Wells and now Barajas. And Todd Jones is uh, eligible to come off the disabled list here soon, isn't he? Friday, I think they say. Yep. Two balls and no strikes. Lind with a single and a walk. He's had a hot series, four hits. And that's fouled back out of play. Two and one. And for a Blue Jays team uh, that uh, supposedly came in struggling with the bats. And they have found a way to score some runs in this inning. In this series, I should say. Taking the first two. New hitting coach, Gene Tennis. Who Cito Gaston called after Cito got the job. Tipped into the glove for strike two. Two and two the count. And they were in Toronto together as well in the 